Hey guys, Noel here, and <clears throat> it is Sunday night. Before I go to bed, I thought I would do a sports web blog for the YouTube channel talking about the NFC Championship game. We did one uh, last year when the Vikings lost. Let's do another one this year, Vikings related, because the Vikings' mortal enemy, the evil New Orleans Saints, got some poetic justice in this game, and I wanted to talk a little bit about it. Um, this video is not going to be too long, but I do just want to point out some things that I noticed in the game that I find uh, ironic and just at the same time. So, basically, the Saints lose this game on an interception, uh, felled, and they're felled by a guy wearing number four, uh, and this situation happens because of a no-call on a, uh, basically an illegal hit. No, basically, but it, was, it was an illegal hit. This happens... Uh, from another team wearing horns, the Rams and the Vikings both wear horns, and while all of this is happening, the man who oversaw the bounty program, which was, I think, the ultimate reason for the situation happening, uh, I think the refs had no patience for Sean Payton, the Saints, and their illegal tactics. Um, you know, Sean Payton, the guy who did much, much worse to Brett Favre, the entire 2009 game is screaming about a late illegal hit, and he's just getting ignored, and, he, and, and I find that incredibly just. Um, so my perception as a Vikings fan is the Saints got exactly what they deserved in this game. Um, if you watch the 2009 NFC Championship game, it's not just one missed hit uh, where uh, you know the refs got it wrong. It was the entire game, right? And the uh, late illegal hit on a Saints receiver, which... Really wasn't even that smart of a play, actually. I think that play probably could have been an interception, but nevertheless, um, in terms of poetic justice, it, it, it worked out quite well. Um, it was almost as though the Saints' fortunes were reversed. Um, the Vikings got really um, mistreated in the 2009 NFC Championship game, and now the Saints are getting uh, a taste of their own medicine. They're living by the sword, and they're dying by the sword. So, if you watch the 2009 NFC Championship game, due to the constant late malicious and illegal hits, Brett Favre was given a broken ankle and threw an interception uh, on that broken ankle. In this situation, right, it is a late illegal hit on the Saints uh, that caused the game to go into overtime, and <laughs> Drew Brees, the Saints quarterback, turns the ball over which then allows the Rams to uh, win the game by a field goal. The same margin that the Saints beat the Vikings by back in 2009. And again, this is all happening. The Rams kicker who finishes off the Saints wears number four, Brett Favre's number. So to me, the Saints have no leg to stand on. They are a team that has built a reputation for themselves on cheating and not just stupid Bill Belichick juvenile cheating like you know trying to like read read lips and you know deflate footballs a tenth of an inch or something like that no this is like maiming opposing quarterbacks and incidentally they were beaten by the Rams who were who were Kurt Warner's old team and Kurt Warner just straight up got his career ended by the Saints bounty program so there's another nice piece of of justice here and again Two horned teams right there, the Vikings and the Rams. So um, this is my perspective as a Vikings fan. I have no patience for the New Orleans Saints. I think they are a dirty team. I think their players are incredibly obnoxious. Uh, they trash talk all the time. They always try to get away with late illegal hits. Um, if you watched the Eagles game last week, a Saints uh, player basically clotheslined Nick Foles right after he threw the ball. That did get a roughing the passer call. Um, Saints fans are incredibly obnoxious. They basically blaspheme the Catholic Church all the time, um, you know, wearing bathrobes and Pope hats and all that stuff. And as a Catholic, I also find that annoying. But what I find even more annoying isn't just the parody of Catholicism. It's literally the fact that they... Uh, just try to get away with the most blatant forms of cheating. And they broke my favorite player's ankle, and they made it so that my team didn't get to go to the Super Bowl, and they cheated, and they hid behind Hurricane Katrina, and that was supposed to make everything okay. Well, I got news for you. 
Brett Favre's house was destroyed in Hurricane Katrina, and so was his parents' house. So basically, you redeemed the city of New Orleans by putting a bounty out on Katrina victims, and that's supposed to make everyone in New Orleans feel good about themselves. If that makes people in New Orleans feel good about themselves, and people in, in New Orleans have huge problems that they need to address about their logical consistency and their ethics. Okay? Um, but again, I just want to point out the... Uh, the, the irony of the situation that Sean Payton, the guy who oversees the bounty program, is there throwing a temper tantrum about an illegal hit that, that lost him the game in overtime by the same margin that they beat the Vikings by from a player who wore number four, and they lose the game on an, on an interception. That's the situation that is caused because of the illegal hit. Complete reversal of fortunes. Maybe it's because of the full moon, the blood moon. I don't know. Maybe the NFL is scripted and Brett Favre is writing it. Um, or maybe this is just justice being served because this is what the Saints deserve. Um, I don't know. Uh, I did enjoy the Patriots and Chiefs, though. That was a fantastic game um, between two teams that didn't uh, cheat. And <laughs> it was just a general, generally good game. They totally protected Tom Brady with roughing the passer calls. But, I mean, Tom Brady's an amazing quarterback. You can hate on him all you want, but he... He may be the best. I don't know. And maybe even the best ever. But I don't think there's anyone cooler than Brett Favre. But Brady's... That, yeah, it's, I can't, I'm almost speechless by how well he played tonight. So, uh, until next time, guys. My name's Noel Skull. Vikings, good going Rams. And uh, I'm going to have to root for the Rams in the Super Bowl because um, they beat my mortal enemy, the Saints. And um, you take care. Go Vikings. I'm going to bed. Bye-bye.